Kendrick Lamar, without a doubt, is definitely one of this generation's kings of hip hop. Not only because his well thought out lyrics, but his extraordinary delivery. But what is behind that sound? We've done an investigation of his vocal chain and we found Kendrick Lamar's epic vocal chain. And it's a whopping $15,000. What's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home studio. I am your host, Archie Beats. And today we're taking a deep dive into Kendrick Lamar's epic vocal chain. And if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video. And this one is different, especially at the front end. And one thing I want you guys to keep in mind is that it's not about the vocal chain. It's the talent behind it. And it's also the guys, the engineers, the producers that make all of this come to life. There has to be talent and there has to be a know-how utilization of the tools that we have to deliver that level of quality. And just remember, every microphone sounds different on different people. It doesn't sound the same on this artist, even if they have similar voices or they're trying to impersonate each other. It's physics. You have molecules, the way the voice travels, moisture in the air, it's not gonna sound the same. So you have to lean on mic placement, post effects processing, and you'll figure it out. But this is just a quality starting point. And we also have some great news today as well. The Universal Audio Volt 476P just arrived, so we're about to start our testing on that. Shout out to Universal Audio for sending this. We already have the Volt 2, but you guys definitely wanna subscribe so you won't miss that video as well and also when we talk about the vocal time with the artist we're talking about the capturing process we're talking about the mic the preamp the compressor it's just that front end that we're discussing because that quality of capture and delivery of talent is definitely the most important part in my opinion you can process it however you want to but to me that's the most important part if you guys agree with that and like that be sure to hit the like button and also comment your favorite part of your vocal chain that you use in your home studio or you can comment your complete vocal chain i'd like to see what my subscribers use you guys know the rules as well when we discuss each particular part of the vocal chain i'm gonna give you guys my opinion on why they chose that particular part of the vocal chain as we normally do and also we got to mention some inexpensive options um and i'm gonna link some plugins below that you guys can use also who vocal chain do you guys want to see as well comment below let's get to the it the first part of this vocal chain was actually started with to pimp a butterfly by Derek ali you guys know mixed by ali shout out to mixed by ali great engineer doing some great work um in this space so shout out to him for sure they use a stephen paul modified telefucking u47 and only change up the tube the capsule a little of the circuitry i don't know exactly what they did with this but i'm going to actually do some research on a stephen paul but just the stock telefucking u47 is a a whopping $8,999, $9,000. So that's what Kendrick Lamar started using. Also, there's rumors of him using the C800G, but we don't have that verified yet. We'd like to verify the information. I actually think they chose the Telefunken. It is a tube microphone. It's warm, has dimension, it's right in your face. Sounds similar to the Telefunken ELAM251, but not really. There's some differences there. It's a subtle difference. But yeah, an artist like Kendrick Lamar, definitely a great choice the telefunken u47 is very vintage sounding it's actually one of the oldest vintage model two model microphones out period the u47 style and we went from there into are you guys ready into the neve 1073 everybody loves the neve 1073 me too you guys know i have the 5211 back there and the neve 1073 right now the modern day version of one is two thousand dollars around sixteen hundred dollars and they sound great i think they chose it because that neve 1073 has definitely a vintage sound to it it preserves the vintage sound of the u47 but it also has a hotness to it kind of take that signal kind of push it up a little bit just heat it up before it hits the compressor and the compressor that they use was a tube tech cl1b of course a tube tech cl1b that's that glue definitely will benefit from that entire chain from the u47 to the 1073 i understand why they use that the tube tech is such a high quality compressor especially when it comes to preserving the artifacts from a tube to a kind of hot preamp and then down to there and it, it just preserves the dynamics it doesn't squash it to hell um you're good to go with definitely something like that and the tube tech is thirty nine hundred dollars four thousand dollars and that's the entire vocal chain Not not to throw a plug out there but right now if you own apollo rack unit you get a spear rack you get the spear for free a mic modeler that can model the u47 and when you get the u47 in there now the spear haven't gotten my hands on one yet but from what i hear everybody's raving about it the axino for sure you guys know i stand by it i use it the reviews are coming but you guys really draw to the vocal chain and y'all demanded it so i started doing the vocal chain and give you guys the gear update the videos recorded it's edited 
So it's coming. I promise you, it's coming. So yeah, the Axino, it's a, um, from Antelope Audio. It models many different vintage microphones. So you guys should definitely check that out as well. As far as the plugins, Waze make a lot of cool stuff. Like I said, we're linking all of that stuff below. So y'all make sure y'all check it out. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please comment below. I really appreciate you guys for supporting the channel. Let me know if you guys have any questions and make sure y'all comment below. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Don't forget to be great and create. Until next time, this is your Barcha Beats and we are signing off.